Guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is sponsored by Filter Brewing. Um, we are doing a live podcast in a few weeks now. Monday. It is uh, December the 12th. Um, you can come along if you send us an unfiltered moment. Go to speakpipe.com slash Tom and Frenchie. And uh, thanks to Filter for sponsoring this the one. The most delicious beers in the game. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Right. And now we're back into the <laughs> podcast. We've got a special guest, a Ooh, man yeah. with a new jaw. Yep. New jokes. Absolutely. I'm yeah. happy to be here. You're Lewis in my set. Spears. You're Lewis in my Spears. hood. Yeah, in, dude. You're in Frankston yes. right now. Now, I actually did not want to do this podcast. I've just got you here because <laughs> oh, you no. did a show in my hood. Yes. Yep. So I'm going to need a taste. Oh. So 20% is my fee. That's what Isaac paid last week. Oh, oh wow. I had to punch on fleeced. with the security. We're getting fleeced. Oh, we're getting fleeced, yeah. bro. It's French's money, so it you is, can have as much as you yeah. want. Oh, you meant money. I thought you meant 20% of like, yeah, like the tip. Yeah. Well, <laughs> whatever, you come whatever, whatever bang, a few, bro. A few millimeters. <laughs> I thought you come in here to bang. I think the cool thing about doing like all over Australia is that we know the Frankston of every city now. Do you know yeah. Do you know the Frankston of every city, Lewis? Yes. Okay, Adelaide. Uh, just the whole Brundle Mall. <laughs> no, like Elizabeth. Everywhere. Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth okay. is not good. Perth. Perth is, um, fuck, I haven't toured for so long. Oh, it's been a minute. What is it? I'd say Armadale or Mandra. 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 Yeah, that's what I know. Uh, do you know Brisbane's? Uh, Brisbane Logan. is Logan. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. then Sydney is like Blacktown yes. or Seatown. Let's yeah. go. Depends on which one you want. But yeah. to, to be fair, I mainly know the Sydney one because of all the Australian rap that I listen to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, I'm, if I'm being really honest. Is yeah. that where, no, they're from Jewett, four, four, oh, one five. One five. One four, four. five. One four. Oh, fuck, yeah, 14, I need some I sort of numbers. <laughs> Bro, did I tell you Evan's thing about Blacktown? No. So Evan, a Canadian comedian, yeah. he's doing a spot at Neil's and he's like, yo, what's like an area I should kind of make fun of, kind of a rougher area? Yeah. I'm like, oh, Blacktown. He goes, bro, you can't say that. I'm like, no, that's that's what it's called. It's it's Blacktown. He's like, well, are there like black people there? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. But there's like every sort of- Like everywhere else. Everywhere yeah. else, there's some, there's not. It's yeah. like, wait, Blacktown? I'm like, yeah, man, it's not weird. It's a, it's the name of it. He's like, yeah. okay, I'll try it. And it was oh, obviously no. in his head. Yeah. Oh, and he no. gets up in stage and he's like- Oh, I guess <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm in Blackstown. <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel like I'm in a town for the black. <laughs> <laughs> Literally said black. I'm, I'm cracking up. The audience is like, what? At least he didn't say N-word village or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we heard a similar thing like that. It was basically N-word village when they were referring to somewhere. Mm. And we didn't, we were like, wait, oh, that's what they mean. That's what they mean. We Vegemite have a uh, village, I think yes. it was actually. And I think we didn't realize. Yeah. In Australia, there are a few like towns or rivers that are just like slur river, oh, like yeah. super slur regional. River. And I think they either uh, they either are working on changing them or they only just changed them like in the last couple of years. It's like, so bad. Oh yeah, it was really not good. You, you go past like drowning Black Man Creek and you'll be <laughs> yeah. like, holy shit, they need to change that, yeah, man. Yeah, Lynch <laughs> Alley, like yeah, fuck dude. me, please. You changed the cheese before that? Yeah, mm. dude. Yeah, no. People got so uh, upset about the cheese. Does, do, I don't know if this is a, I'd love the listeners to chime in on this, but does your dad ever send you dick pics? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, what? Do you, does your dad Great ever question. send you? No. Does your dad ever send you no, dick pics? No, he's dead. He's dead? <laughs> really? Be from so, on the grave. <laughs> so, like, rotting corpse? Yeah, just bones. Yes, yeah. dick. No? You don't, does your, does your dad ever send you dick pics? Not his, just, you know, other people. No. <laughs> Wait, so your dad Does sends your you a dick pic? Dick my dad, pics. yeah, my dad sends me dick pics every now and then. What? what? Well, not like not like a dick. I have a great relationship with my father. We uh, went away. Yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah, but not like when you when I say dick pic. Yes, that's kind of character assassination. It's more of like a, it's more of like an art piece. Have you heard of nutscaping? Like a bolt. Like what? manscaping? No, it's like a landscape, right? So you're taking a beautiful okay. picture of a landscape but you sneak like your ball bag into it. Oh, I like and that. And it's a nutscape. Oh, that's cool. That's so fun. every Sounds now creative. and then. Oh, we've got some nutscapes. Yeah, see? 
Okay, so beautiful. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That is really so good. So it's a beautiful picture yeah. of like it looks oh, like <laughs> that one's actually a pinky yeah. nut. It looks it, that's that's the that's nuts. what you want. It's that's like a, yeah, that's those a cashew. I think that was yeah, a see peanut. a few hairs in there. Oh, that <laughs> looks like yeah, that's, that's still like a beautiful sunset. A with hairy a sack eclipse. Over the top. Yeah, my dad. Uh, <laughs> Are we gonna see? It? Yeah. My dad sent me this the other day, but unfortunately, oh no! Yeah, he got Is his. That his? That's his. Too that's much his, gooch in that, bro. That, yeah, he messed up. It's it's supposed to be a nutscape, but that's his full penis. Yes, uh, and that's the lake that we were staying on, <laughs> and and he captioned it a yowie. That's funny. Is so is that is that strange for your dad to be sending yeah, you to much lake, dong, bro? Yeah, but like you can see the full arch of his upper leg. Yeah, let me turn the brightness up. No, don't. It's I've got oh, and, oh, then, oh, and that's a front on penis too. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. quite I, I crafty see to it. actually shoot as well. That's, 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 is that is that strange for your dad to be sending like you that. every not all the time, but every now and then? And he he hasn't done it for like a year. And by the way, we were staying in that cabin that's in the background there. Yep. Together, alone. And there was oh, no, no there was no phone reception, so I don't even know how he sent the photo, but it just popped up into my phone. And so, he goes and I said, Oh and he goes, Don't worry, it's not weird. I sent it to your brother and your mother too. That's good. At least there's a quality. I actually in it. agree with that. I think if you're the only one getting it, it's yeah. like, oh fuck. But if it's like a thread, you're like, oh, I sent it to everyone. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Did it were you asleep when he snuck away to take it? Do you know what you were doing? I was uh I, I'm spewing that I didn't see him because there's a balcony that overlooks the river mm. that he that he was on the other side of. <laughs> so if I just looked out to the beautiful view of nature and I would have just seen my dad bent over himself holding his iPhone, holding his yeah. iPhone upside down with his pants down, yeah. mooning the cabin, trying to get That's the perfect. Creative. Cause here's the thing about the nutscape is it has to be like a little, just a little hint of, of hint ball sack ball. Yeah, only. It's, it's tasteful. Whereas that was just like yeah, dick was, and balls. Yeah. And then you go, oh, there's also a lake there. Yeah. It was like the landscape was getting in the way of his dick pick. Yeah. Rather than the other one. <laughs> yeah. It, it was winter too, wasn't it? When he took it. <laughs> it, was, it, it looked really cold. It did look it? cold. Yeah. It did a bit Very look cold. cold. You must have had a swim before. Ah, yeah, that there, happens. Yeah. We've been there. Yeah. I've always just had a swim. Always. Just Always from the size, yeah, <laughs> from yeah, yeah. the size. So, Lewis, you've been off for quite a while. We've missed you. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've really like this has kind of been like four year journey of yeah. like off and on because I had. Uh, for those who don't know, I got, I got yeah, diagnosed tell us the with story. I got diagnosed with horrific sleep apnea. It's really, really bad. So my from a recessed jaw. So my jaw was too far back. So my tongue. Uh, if it's too far back, your tongue covers your airway. So I couldn't breathe when I was asleep. I was choking on my own tongue. Yikes. So to, uh, so like if you've ever watched like the first three minutes of a Pornhub video, just close your eyes, listen to the gagging. That's what it sounded like when I was trying to sleep. Well, so First few minutes, usually a bit of storyline, to be gag, honest. Gag. The gag comes later. Yeah. But yeah, I get what you're saying here. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying here. <laughs> I, sleep gucked. Yeah, pretty yes. much. Sleep gucked. Yeah, so I, I did a sleep study and I stopped breathing like 47 times an hour Oof. or so. So sometimes for like over a minute, no breathing, sometimes less. Like real like Riley Reid would you stats. wake? Yeah, <laughs> would you wake up just feeling fucked? I would I would wake up with like, sometimes I would wake up with adrenaline surges because like my I was dying and my body would be like, you're dying, yeah, wake yeah, up. Yeah, and right. I would wake up like screaming and, oh my God. and like, ah! <laughs> Did and you have like a that. camera on yourself while you're doing it or you just monitored like on so like- it was we, a band You do a around. sleep study in the hospital so they connect all these like electrodes to like they put electrodes on your chest and on your face and on they get you to wear this weird helmet and then and then sometimes they put a mask on you and then they put you in the most uncomfortable fucking hospital bed mm. and then a nurse comes in and goes goes by the way we're filming you the whole time oh, good. and then and then they go oh, try and have a normal sleep and then if you get yeah. a bad result they go you're sick it's like how much of that yeah. was the electrode they put in my ass yeah <laughs> that's weird I'd be embarrassed. I'd get like a sleep boner, have some kind of wet dream, and they've got on yeah. Because hospitals make me shit. horny, bro. Because you're barely wearing any clothes. You got that thin there's thing. Nurse. Yeah, they had oh, me in the road. There yeah. were dude, there were signs everywhere saying 
please do not be sexual with the nurses. Oh my god! Because well, now I want to. That planted the seed, you know. Yeah, plants the seed. That's, that's what. Silly. That's exactly what it did to me. Where I wasn't thinking that at all, but then uh, it was like, yeah. please don't be sexual with the nurses. And then and then they just put you in a in a bed and you're like naked, pretty much. And then like <laughs> a lone woman comes in and it's like <laughs> a lone woman. Where, where's the <laughs> where's the islander like nurse? Where's you know, the, give yeah, him yeah. that job. I feel like the the tiny woman she shouldn't have yeah. the fucking. The it's it's also the longer you're in that situation, the hotter they get. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I was thinking, even on our flight down to Melbourne, the the stewardess, the flight attendant, yeah, she gets on. I was like, oh, she's a bit, mm. she's a bit nothing. And yeah. then forty five minutes, I'm like, damn, she's she getting up there. Forty five minutes with a woman <laughs> is all you is all well, you well, need. There's nothing much else to look at. There's in front of my screen. I'm in between two businessmen. They're playing fucking Tetris on their phone. I'm getting bored. And then she keeps walking past in that outfit, yeah. serving drinks, being all like considerate. I'm like, damn. You're putting your elbow She's on the armrest, just hot, waiting to get like a subtle feel. Oh yeah, yeah I was me. middle. I was middle's hard. I'll just stick my hand out. <laughs> also, I was trying to shake his hand, and it just. Um, I'm on a watch list. Anyway, back to the hospital. <coughs> yeah, so the short story is I uh, I had to get two jaw surgeries. One to widen the top of my palate. So the, mm. so this, my, my front teeth used to overlap like that. So they widened it. Mm. Uh, and then the second one, which I'm just kind of recovering from, they kind of cut here and here and they pull your chin out Ooh. and then they go all the way over the top here. The bone that your teeth sits in up, up the top, they kind of go and then they flick it out and they pull it forward and they bolt it back in. They cut the tip of my chin off, move that forward. And then now I look completely different. Yeah, That's you got that crazy. sexy ass jawline, bro. So it's, you're kind of like yeah. one of those um like dummies. Where they cut like all yeah, the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Like, I look like a chatterbox. Yeah. Yeah, those, those, chatterbox. those teeth that are always the logo of like British comedy clubs <laughs> yeah. with the wind up thing in it. They that they pulled That's that out of my head and then fuck. repositioned it. So oh. I just started eating like solid food. I had a croissant at the cafe this morning wow. and I was I almost cried. La -dee -da. Yeah, yeah. I drooled a little bit, but it's all good. <laughs> fuck man. Was it painful or did you have enough drugs? The first, the first one was awful because the the thing about the first one was it's like breast implants, right? Mm. Where they can't, if you have really small boobs, you can't just go to like a K cup. Yeah. yeah. You have to gradually, so your skin can yeah, stretch. You haven't earned it. Yeah. So I had a really, really narrow, small jaw. So they, they do the cutting. So they cut underneath your nose, they detach it all. And then they put in, they call it a spacer. So it's something that sits in, in between your teeth like this. And then I had to manually wind my Oof. palate wider. So I started off with this tiny little gap tooth. And then pretty soon I could fit my thumb in between oh, my two front teeth. I remember that when you were like in the stages of getting it done. Yeah. And then the wild. braces slowly closed it. So it was like I winded it myself and then the braces slowly closed it. It was horrific. That, that sounds sucked. horrific. Yeah, and and that one didn't make me feel any better. The first surgery was just to make the second one possible. How long do you have the braces for? Um, I, th I was told it was going to be April, but they're, they're moving really quick. They reckon that they might come off in January, which oh, would be awesome because wow. then I could be fully oh, finished with all of this. Fully sexy for the tour. Yeah, but oh. I feel incredible, man. It's changed my whole life. Like I knew I was really, really sick, but being on the other side of it, I, I'm like realizing in every way how much yeah. more sick I thought I, I was. Yeah. Um, and I feel incredible. I'm like, oh my God. I'm so you're waking awake. up better. Yeah. Yeah. You're living. So yeah. You're shining. You never realize till you're out of it. I didn't realize how depressed I was in lockdown mm. until I saw a video of me trying to grow a beard. <laughs> oh, and dude, I had that beard I told for, you at the for time. months. I'm pretty sure I'm like, I, what is that? I couldn't listen. I yeah. wouldn't listen. <laughs> and I, some of the videos I look back and like, they're good videos, but I've got that beard. I'm like, I got to delete that. Oh, that needs to be yeah. scaled from the internet. I wouldn't even call it a beard. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. No, he's fair. It's a, some sort of, yeah. Pube like wig, like moss on a rock. Moss on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I recently got rid of my beard because I'm like, I don't need it anymore. I have a chin. Yeah, yeah. The, the beard was oh. to to the beard create was a the beard. illusion of a chin. Yeah. Tom Segura would be jealous. Oh, dude, I was <laughs> showing the boys the old Tom Segura without a beard. Yeah, he looks like Eric Cartman. <laughs> Have you oh, seen him? No, I haven't. Bruh. Dude, I'll get it up. Yeah, show oh, us. Yeah. Keep talking. It'll yeah, when I was uh, when I was um, getting diagnosed with everything, I went mm. to like a, a, a sleep doctor, and I was talking to him, and he goes, and he looks at me, and he goes, and you know what a lot of people with sleep apnea have? Uh, and I was like, uh, you didn't like the TV? Well, I didn't know if I was going to flicker on the on the video. No, it's that's it's part like of that, it's bro. part of my Frenchie set. Doesn't get things it's like all that. good. <laughs> yeah. If why the fuck would I have it here if it? We did that. You just come. He in, does that all the time. You come into my stuff. set. 
<laughs> you change things. He does that all the time. Yeah, he gets just, so distracted. Is it annoying you? Because you can turn it off. It doesn't I get matter. easily distracted, but now I know what's going on. Back yeah. into the story. Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. So he goes, do you know what a lot of people with sleep apnea have? Mm. And I go, uh, like fatigue. And he goes, no, nah, uh, a beard because you got no chin. <laughs> I went, all Whoa. right, man. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Just getting roasted by the fucking dog. I came in. I came in for like surgery to feel well. He's going. Yeah. You're ugly. I'm like, okay, dude. No, not having a chin doesn't make you ugly. I think there's uh, certain benefits. Some yeah. ladies look for a weak chin. Means they've if got a you, better personality. Do you mm-hmm. get a discount if you recommend someone? <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of cash yeah, that's, back that is good. Alex has got the big beard, though. That's all I'm saying. Do you have a good chin, Alex? He looks like Eric Cartman. He looks no, like Eric Cartman. We've got the Tom Segura up. Yep. He so really if you does. want to see it at home and you're not watching the video, look up Tom Segura without a beard. Oh, you guys just don't it. edit that in? You just go fuck the audience? Yeah, they can figure it out themselves? Exactly. Nah, they can Google. They've got, <laughs> they're probably already on their phones, too, to be honest. While, you, while you're Googling, it. look at pictures of my gap tooth. It's horrific. Yeah, do oh, it. Oh, Louis gap tooth, yeah. You know you know what I, what I really feel like really strongly about now is I think my my girlfriend is the one of the best investors of oh, all time. Oh yeah. Not only did she, she get with me when I was broke, I was also quite ugly <laughs> and she held on. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful. It's like a flipper. My brother used to do that in high school. He knew, he'd somehow he would know which girls were about to become hot and he would sort of date them a couple of months before. He didn't do it on purpose, but yeah. he just lucked out. A few months before, he could Bro, he could and then they had these glow-ups. Well, you could just tell like- Pre-puberty. So knowing when a teen girl is about to bloom runs in the family? <laughs> it, he was the same saying. age. He was the same age, okay? okay. Yeah. He was. Mm. Um, but I always wonder, like, do girls do it? They can see a guy and be like, yo, he's going to be something, something. I'm going to invest now. So your missus did it. Do other mm. girls do it? Or you think they're well, just... Well, I... Jazz told me recently that uh, all of her friends, when we first t- got together, were, were like, you could do so much better. Mm. <laughs> well, like, what are you doing? Mm. So not all, all girls can see it. Or maybe Jazz was blind. Mm. Because I think in high school, the girls always date the hot tradies and they often mm. lose their hair the first. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my tradie mates, I don't want to say have fallen off, but like, I'm catching up to them. Those 3 p.m. <laughs> Are you losing the hair? <laughs> no, I mean in hotness. Yeah, in hotness. I'm almost there. I'm yeah. like, you should have invested the 3 p.m. Be beers much start, start weighing on them. Oh, the 3 p.m. beers, that'll do it, yeah. And then they work too hard and when their metabolism goes, they don't have time to exercise mm. it off. Yeah. Mm. I do have time I don't have a job. You've got nothing yeah. but Should have invested. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> should have got in. Yeah. Or well, maybe they should get the Sharpie out and just draw on the muscles. Yeah. And then they'll, they'll skip ahead of you again. That's a 100%. Hack. I love that. <laughs> I don't know who does that. Mine's natural. <laughs> so you're getting ready for a new tour now? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm booking it all in at the moment. It's going to start in January in Perth. Sick. I'm doing Perth Fringe, which I've never done before. Oh, that'd be fun. I've heard good things. Yeah, I, I wasn't planning on, on doing stand-up until like March. And then Rory Lowe just hit me up. He goes, I'm, I'm running a venue. You should do it. I'm like, all right. So now I'm locked in for a January start. Which Sometimes it's good to just lock it in when you're not ready I think and so. give you the motivation. Yeah, because I, I haven't performed since like April because I've been so sick. And then before that, I think the last time I performed was like maybe the previous April as Holy well. Holy fuck. My, yeah, my, tours, my tours have been like doing shows because I was supposed to get these surgeries uh, when COVID happened. But it, wow. it shut down all the surgeries. It was it was uh, wow. not an essential mm. one for some reason, mm. which was so fucked because like when when I first got diagnosed, I was pretty sick. But I the surgeries were so intensive. I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm like that sick to get these done. Yeah. But then by the end of COVID, I was like, oh, I'm gonna die in my sleep. <laughs> like it got so yeah. much worse. And that's the bullshit thing about the hospital and operation system is that they reward you for being a little bitch. So yeah, if you come in, hospitals. they ask you what your pain tolerance, what's the pain right now? Yeah. yeah. Like, ah, it's not that bad. About a four, I live. Yeah. They're like, okay, you're going to be seen in 14 hours. Yeah. If you're like, it's a nine, I think I'm paralyzed, whatever. Yeah. Straight away. Yeah. Oh, I'm Squeaky infectious. wheel, man. It's like everything. The yeah. most annoying cunts get the best help. Yeah. yeah the, the, the only way to get good service in a hospital is to go on and be like, my heart, my heart. Yeah. I'm, I'm 55. I'm and a I'm man. T- I'm a beast. I'm half my heart. And I've just had the vaccination. Yeah. I've just had a booster. My heart's beating funny. They're like, yeah. oh, fuck. We don't need <laughs> we this one. headline. We, we don't one. need this headline. We got one. <laughs> 
bury it. They'll just pull you out the back and shoot you and say, shut up. You know, my girl, we had to take her to hospital after she got the vax. Oh, shit. We took her because heart stuff and we got there and they, were like, and they were like, that yeah. doesn't happen. Go home. And she, <laughs> she oh, was wow. like, well, it's happening. Uh, she was all right. Happened to me too. My fucking intercostals fucking swelled up after it. Luke's dad's uh, heart got fucked up. And yeah. he, it's proven because he had a test before mm-hmm. before it and then after it. And now is what is a weak heart wall or something? This is terrible. He had stents put in. He had stents put in. There's no mic. I yes. thought it was just going to be a quick, oh, you this know, is what Luke, he's got now. You know it's not going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> right, you give Luke a break, Tom. Sorry, man. I want no, to hear I'm, what he said I'm from the top. Eat it. What? What is it, Luke? Um, heart arrhythmia. Heart arrhythmia. He got heart arrhythmia from the vaccination. No, he didn't. That's impossible. Oh, That's not got possible. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh well, he misinformation did. tag on this he's, episode. He's joking, getting. Luke. He's he was, he was I am stopped. joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like he sure he did. did. <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm trying. I'm, I'm imitating the nurse who, <laughs> who was talking to my girlfriend. Thought she was having a heart attack. Right. Like, it feels really bad. They were like, "No, it doesn't." I was like, "Oh, okay. We'll just go home then." Uh, no, you're making it up. Mm. I reckon yeah. this uh, hospital chat ties into our unfiltered moment this week. So we get people to send in moments yeah. for this sponsorship we're doing. Um, and we've got a story from a guy called Isaac. Okay. Who used to work in a hospital. Um, oh, I love hospital oh, stories. Oh, this is a good one, actually. Yeah, great. I'll just play it into the mic and um, I'll put it in later. What's going on, fellas? Massive fan of the podcast and uh, long-time listener. We recently went to your show in Sydney. Um, fucking awesome. Love you, boys. Um, Thanks, man. <laughs> filtered moment is quite fucked. Um <laughs> I used to be a warsman in a hospital and um, it was my second week on the job and I go into the theatre and they say, can you take this specimen up to pathology? And it was like, it was a part of a person's stomach or something. I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, I take it and I go up to wherever I thought it was. Turns out it was the wrong place because a few hours later I go, um, my manager gives me a call and goes, do you know where that specimen is? And I go, yeah, I gave it to the lady on level four. And and then my manager goes, well, that's the fucking, that's the services building. They chucked it in the bin. <laughs> and so um, this person went to theatre, had their fucking half their stomach taken out and got it chucked in the bin. So <laughs> I lost my job and uh, that's where we are. Yeah, sweet. So if that's good enough to let me come to your fucking podcast, I'd be killer. I think I think that's good enough. I think it oh is. My God. I think it is. We love that sort of incompetence. Oh fuck! Bro. That is. I mean, that's and that's just pure human error. He was half <laughs> listening. <laughs> the woman didn't check that she had the right thing as well because she didn't go. Is this for the bin? <laughs> yeah. You know, like she like if you're throwing anything in the bin in the hospital, you should be like. I'm throwing this in the bin, yeah? And then the other guy should go, yes. And then you ask his manager. Mm. <laughs> and then you throw it in the bin. And it must have been in some kind of cooler bag or something. It's yeah. Like, didn't look like it should Yeah, go. I don't know if they thought it was Uber Eats. Like, <laughs> did you order Yeah, lunch? surely put it in a different bag. Lunch. Yeah, the, Do not bin. Put some yeah, fragile no, tape I'm, over it. I'm not eating that. Like, all that. you've got's the delivery bag. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck it in. Yeah, fuck. Hopefully, the hopefully the bin room isn't isn't close to like the the maternity ward. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> fuck. Give the baby to the wrong parent <laughs> in the bin. You know, a mate of mine, he actually went in to get the same surgery as me, and he, uh, you're supposed to get the spacer fitted beforehand at the orthodontist. So they put it in your teeth, and then you get the surgery. Right. Right. So he 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 goes in. Uh, and when you go in for surgery, they check everything. They plug they plug you in to like the anesthetic and everything. They dose him up. He starts to drift off. They open his mouth. No spacer. They just had to wake him up a few <laughs> hours later and go, yeah, we couldn't have done the surgery. <laughs> you didn't have the spacer in. Uh, so, and like so he was just them. completely... Oh, yeah, they're oh, fine. Because yeah, yeah. they didn't tell him to, right. to go and get it done. It's a bit of his fault, but also they should check. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. But lucky they didn't do the surgery. Yeah, true. That's what's so fucking like, they do so many things that just sort of freak you out. Like they yeah. mark your leg and stuff. And yeah, then they're they're, like, and then they Oh, you know yeah. what was Bro, crazy know what leg. about my second surgery? So the first one was like nice and easy. Yeah. Uh, although after I, I woke up and I, then I was doing my podcast again, I was complaining about um, 
about my nose. I'm like, oh, my, I feel like my nose really hurts. Mm. I don't know why. And I just got this comment that goes, uh, fun fact, the reason why your nose hurt is because we had to put the breathing tube in there because your airway was too narrow in your throat. Uh. And I thought, that's not very fun. Also, isn't that a violation of patient doctor confidentiality? Just the <laughs> guy, that must have been the guy that's so funny. in there. He was like, we did this. So yeah. it was like one of the, one of the A's was like, hey man, I know what the inside of your face looks like. Hey, tag That's me weird. in your photo. <laughs> He's doing selfies, selfies of you unconscious, bro. I know. 100%. The worst He's still one. nutscaping on you, oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. He nutscaped you. With my own nuts. He lifted yeah. my nuts up, took oh, a selfie. Double nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst one, though, was the second surgery. Mm. The anesthetist comes in and he goes, this is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. blah. You're going to wake up around this time and, you know, here's what to be aware of, all that kind of, like, normal stuff. And he goes, oh, and just so you remember, uh, with this surgery, uh, just before the end we have to wake you up mm. uh, and we need your help to remove the breathing tube here's how you do it and i'm like you don't you don't do that when i'm asleep he goes no we need you to do it because if we do it wrong your teeth could fall out i'm like oh okay and he goes but don't worry uh after we do that i'm going to give you something else and then you're going to forget <laughs> oh. and i was like okay Ooh. and i don't remember it at all. Wait, there's a drug that makes people forget something going in and out of so their mouth. They put me to sleep and then they put me to sleep and then they woke me up. Yeah. And then they gave me something to forget the oh, trauma no. of waking up mid surgery to remove yeah, the, the yeah. breathing tube. And then they <laughs> put me to sleep and made me forget the it. The P. Diddy. The P. <laughs> the P. Diddy. Too soon, man. Don't say that. Your car will blow up. Right. <laughs> Have you been following the P. Diddy stuff? Uh, who is accusing him of what? I've seen His a bunch of stuff about partner. him and Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah, that's, the, recent that's one. the one that's just been popping up. Long-term partner accusing him some uh, terrible things, Rape and all some sorts. R. Kelly type things, not without the pain. Sex cult yeah. vibes. Sex cult vibes. But then the Bieber stuff has just started blowing up. And mm. do you know any more about that? I don't know. It's like I feel like I feel like it's a little bit strange for like a thirty to forty year old dude to be hanging out with some 15 year old boy he doesn't know yeah, mm, alone taking her out for trips not related nah, it's Michael Jackson shit yeah. it is strange go to the pub yeah <laughs> and I think it's also like that it's also that just weird like uh, not old but like just the older era of like Hollywood and entertainment of like kind of flaunting your sexual influence over new people to yeah. the industry or less powerful people. Whereas like, it was like not even, not even really an open secret. Like, like you look at what happened with, um, with uh, Marilyn Monroe, like everyone fucked her and everyone knew about it. And everyone was just feeding her drugs and dick all, all the time. <laughs> And then, and then people were like, I don't okay, know if I knew that. well, uh, you look it up. The old jaw yeah. surgery. Yeah. What? The drugs for the jaw surgery. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then the Harvey Weinstein thing. And then, you know, that's happening in music as well. And so Diddy, oh, yeah. you think's doing it for Bieber. Could Maybe. That, P. Diddley. Could that have been, yeah, P. Diddley. Was that what Bieber's song Never Say Never is about? <laughs> oh, Diddy puts it on him. Yeah, just, I think so. Oh, never. But he's finding it a bit hard to get. <laughs> Never say never. Um, I had a, a weird dream last night. Dude, well, how good are dreams? I've been dreams doing for like like nine years. I've you, just started having them. You just started having dreams because I would never like reach deep sleep yeah. because of uh, because no. Of I got the- aspirations. I was just very <laughs> ill. <laughs> But no, I, I had a dream like the other day and I was like, well, You just Man. interrupted my dream and dream topping me and you don't even know what my dream's about, bro. But well, tell me about no, your you dream. you go your dream first. I'm no, gonna, I swear I'm going to have to make mine up now. I'm going to have to make mine up I'm a baby dreamer. Mine's just, mine's just like uh, like on a boat somewhere. I'm like, oh, this is nice. And then I wake up. <laughs> I don't. I haven't had any crazy ones just in, yet. International waters. I like mm, that. Yeah, and there's big nuts hanging over the skyline. Oh, tell me all about yeah. your dreams, honey. Well, my dreams are just too close to reality it's just i just it just freaks me out i told luke as i as i woke up today because yeah. the alarm went off and then went back to sleep and that's when i had the dream because you just kind of like you you rem- that's the ones you remember mm. i'll say um so it it starts with me someone's just announced frenchy and i'm going out for my show yeah it's like a couple hundred seats is it's like almost like a drama stage i'm on the floor the seats are up up here yeah i walk out in a towel mm. Nice. Okay, I've just had a shower. See where this is going. But not in it like not willy, in it. Willy willy. No, no, no. I'm not willy willying them. I'm not flashing them. And I'm not embarrassed about it. It's like I've got Did you go out with a wobble board as well? <laughs> no, I didn't have a wobble board. 
this this happened, man. It wasn't a dream. This is last night's show. So I'm in a towel and my bag's behind me and yeah. I just start getting my clothes on there riffing as I do it. Yeah. Um, they're not vibing it at all. And I'm like, this is weird. I'm just putting on my clothes. I eventually get all my clothes on. I'm like, oh, I need to go into some bits. They're not vibing this, which is weird. This is a real like Netflix teen drama dream. Yeah, like yeah. I was on stage and I was naked yeah, and yeah. embarrassed, like but before the big show. I was embarrassed by the towel. I was. Uh, it's. Yeah. I think I'd have done it before. I was definitely yeah. selling. I this could is something around. I did at work. Sorry. Um, th- this is to do with your thing. I'm gonna write it in chat. Sorry, GBT. I'm just gonna interrupt you <laughs> here for my I'm write, dream. I'm so. gonna write your dream into chat GBT while you tell it, okay, okay. and then it'll tell us what that means. I would love that. Okay, that's great. So para- paraphrase if you need to. Okay, so then I eventually get all my clothes on. I start going into good bits. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not vibing that at all. They're not nothing. Right. Not one giggle, not one laugh. I go, oh, fuck, I've got to save this for some crowd work. Mm-hmm. There's an old dude there. He looks like David Attenborough. Yeah. And I start riffing. Mm. Good stuff about David Attenborough. Okay. Can you remember any of nah. it? Or it was just, you were nah. just on the crush? I just know I was crushing. Yeah. But- I wasn't because no one's laughing. Yeah. And I started getting angry. I'm like, this can't look like David Attenborough. Yeah. And you'll give me nothing for this. Yeah. I'm going, you know what? You don't, you need to, you need to, you don't deserve me right now. I'm mm. going off stage for 15 minutes. When I come back on, be better. <laughs> That's good. You gave the audience a time out. Yeah. Sit went, in silence. Look at the wall. I went off stage for 15 minutes. The The green room was across a road randomly. <laughs> yeah. So I went in, I went in the green room, um, for 15 minutes Tom comes in Mm -hmm. he's like what's going on I'm like they're not fucking with me he's like um he's like why not I'm like well I went out in a towel he's like but you've done that before I'm like yeah I know I don't know what's going on (laughs) I go back in I'm wearing like a big hoodie like a big uh Mm -hmm. overcoat and a hood for some reason I'm giving someone feeding someone a beer like Mm -hmm. I'm holding it to their mouth and they're drinking it I'm overlooking the scene yeah Everyone's vibing now. Yeah. The Washington Commanders, the NFL team are there in uniforms, um, <laughs> ready to watch. <laughs> this is a fucking wild dream. It's and still going. En- and then ended. Right. So did you start doing better when you came I don't back? know. I didn't get to go on stage because I just I woke up. You I went like, upstage was, by the entire right? NFL team. Well, they were there to watch, I think. But I don't know if they had to watch me or mm. if there was a game about to go on because I don't know why they were in their uniforms. I couldn't see strange. Adam Bra. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So, so that's, and then I woke up and I was like, look, I just had a fucking weirdest dream, man. All what right, is so I've typed it in. Okay. All right. So I said, Quick interpret diaper. my dream. I went onto a stage in front of an audience in a towel and started pulling things out of my backpack and telling <laughs> jokes and nobody was laughing. And David Attenborough was in the audience and heckled <laughs> me. Close enough. Mm-hmm. Close enough. He normally does these. No, I normally. Sorry. You gotta put in that I thought I was doing really well. Yes. It seems to be an integral part of the dream. Yes. I was, was crushing, but the audience was not bits. laughing. Yes. I thought yeah. I was doing well, but the audience wasn't into it. Yeah. I guess that's every comedian's like fear is you don't understand when you're doing well and when you're not. Yeah. That's yeah. You know, um when I uh when I was like uh talking about I I, Andrew Schultz uh, did a, like a big arena show and I was talking with his opener, Mark Gagnon, yes. uh, a little bit about like going from like clubs to theatres to arenas and the difference. Yes. And uh, a few comedians I've spoken to have all said the same thing. The difference is when you do an arena, the first few times you think you're fucking bombing you think that everyone up the back and up the sides hate you but what's actually happening is you can only hear about say there's 10,000 people as a comedian you can only hear maybe 400 500 of them laughing mm. the rest of them are literally too far away wow that's insane because yeah, we wanted to get to andrew schultz's show but we just it was like one day apart every yeah. one we did so yeah how was the show before we it was get amazing. The he asked interpret. about you, by the way. He was asking about you. He asked no about, way. Yeah, for don't sure. Don't say that. That's true. What did he yeah. say? Uh, he just he he just went through everyone that opened for him, like the because he came here four years ago and did the Comics Lounge in Melbourne, which is about four hundred people. Yeah, yeah. He just did like ten, eight thousand people, I think, uh, at John Kane Arena in That's Melbourne, crazy, and man. the same in all the other states, like between eight and ten thousand people. <laughs> Um, insane. Four years. Crazy. Um, the difference between his and my career trajectories <laughs> over the last four years. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to compare. What is the, the comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah, he, he goes, mm. how, and how have you been, man? I'm like, horrible. <laughs> but, but recently, a lot better. <laughs> um, but, uh, 
Yeah, you asked. He asked about you. He said, uh, "And and how's how's Frenchy? Is he is he doing good? Is he still doing shoeies?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, unfortunately, <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. he is. <laughs> yeah, and he, he said something like, "Dude, I I can't believe I got him. I got him on stage. That meant I had to do it." <laughs> ah, bro, yeah, he did true. a real one he too. Loved he it. he yeah, did it from the knew. from the shoe. He did a real yeah, shoe. Really good. His um, his, his show was fucking amazing. Really great. Like he's so much. He's so good. So fucking professional. He's such a nice guy. Bro, well. that's what I was going to say. He's one of the greatest blokes in the scene. Like, yeah. he's always putting people on, but he always, like, remembers names. He's always genuine. He looks at you, will shake your hand. 100%. After we met him in the Sydney show, he took everyone out to Chinese. Like, yeah. Just put, picked up the bill. We never, yeah. never yeah. met half of us. He's like, oh, you guys are comedians. Yeah, come on along. Let's do it. So yeah, nice. like, what he, you know, I, t- I just text him because we, we bought tickets because I was like, oh, I don't want to hassle him because, yeah, yeah. you know, I know him, but I don't know him super well. Yeah. And I just text him, like, Hey, good luck! And he goes, "Come see me after." And then, now I'm fucking underneath an yeah, arena. Yeah, so cool. So cool. And there's like sixty people backstage that he knows so much better than I do. Uh, knows that he knows so much better than he knows me. Sorry. Uh, and then he still fucking he pulls up a chair and he goes, "Sit down." And we chatted for fucking ages. That's He's so a, nice. Yeah. Just, yeah, one of the best guys. That, and that's what I find so interesting because I saw two comedians at the same spot four years ago, Factory Theater. Yeah. One was Andrew Schultz, and as you said, mm. he's shaking us in. He's bringing us into his circle of friends. He's mm. giving us tips on comedy. Just yeah. being a great bloke. And I saw another one. Yeah. Perfectly contrasted. I'm not going to say who it is, but it rhymes with Schmiss Delia. Yeah. Sorry, oh, too yeah. obvious. Yeah. This Kalia. Yeah. Yeah, and I like yeah, it. Yeah, when he came to Melbourne. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 yeah. wait. So, so I go in backstage. My manager yeah. is brought him out. Yeah. He's like, "Hey, uh, Schmish, this is Frenchy. He's a yeah. comedian." Doesn't stand up, shake my hand. He goes, "Hey, back onto his phone." Really? That was all the only interaction. He must I had. have been messaging <laughs> seventeen year old girls. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. I had like, a similar Does he have one. a sister? I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have a sister. Yeah, she's of age though. I, I had a, I had a similar one with him when he when he did Melbourne. I I went back and I met him and uh, and he f- he fed me drugs and then tattooed me and then fucked me. <laughs> Oh, well, you had a greatest interaction yeah, ever. Yeah, so I thought he was a really nice guy. What actually. the hell? Yeah. How do yeah. I get on that one? Oh, you got to get him on Snapchat and you, and you have to yeah. say, oh, if you yeah. don't be nice to me, I'm releasing everything. Yeah, I've <laughs> yeah. saved these snaps. Did you yeah. know these snaps can be saved? And <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> all right, here's the interpretation, all right? You've all been waiting yes. very patiently. This is a great idea because as soon as I got my surgery, I knew I was going to have dreams. So I bought a dream interpretation book oh. and it Fucking Dude, sucks. ChatGPT is the best because it just spits out shit straight away. Okay. Dreams are highly personal and their meanings can vary from person to person. Okay, okay. Frenchie. Wow, wow. However, That's I can good. offer a general <laughs> interpretation of the elements in your dream. I like. Yeah. I like how when an interpretation starts off with "this is bullshit." Yeah. yeah. yeah this. Being on stage in a tower, this could represent feelings of vulnerability or exposure in a mm-hmm. public or social situation. Pulling things yeah. out of your backpack and telling jokes, this might symbolize your desire to entertain or make others laugh. Oh. Perhaps You're pulling in all your the tricks out. Life. I'm carrot yeah, top. Yeah, pulling all yeah. the tricks out. I'm carrot top. Nobody <laughs> laughing. The lack of laughter from the audience could suggest feelings of insecurity or self-doubt regarding your ability to make people happy and get their approval. Yes. Yeah. David, <laughs> David Attenborough heckling. <laughs> Seeing a respected figure like David Attenborough <laughs> heckling you <laughs> may indicate self-criticism or a fear of judgment, especially- right. From people you admire, you do admire. Oh, I love David, <laughs> Sir David Adam I should say. <laughs> NFL team in the audience. Yeah. The presence of an NFL team could symbolize a sense of competition or performance mm. pressure in your life. Yep. That's pretty oh, good. Dude, That's pretty they good. Kind of nailed it. Eh? That's yeah. pretty good. Are you all right, man? I you think you're right, great. No, I, think I you're like really it. Good performance pressure is like a good thing. It's like let's fucking go get that yeah. adrenaline pumping. Yeah, I don't think you have anything to be insecure about. We Except did a, we did a full NFL thing shit. when we went on stage last night. Mm. Me, Tom, and oh, Alex put our hands in. Oh well, that's and we did. Uh, schlob on three one two three schlob yeah for the song schlob on your in, knob it was like a um what are those Ouija board things Ouija boards mm. and we had our hands in and they all started moving towards Frenchie's cock yeah, yeah, yeah. he just said he so, wasn't doing so it rare. Yeah. <laughs> that so happened to me at the Shmish Badia show as well yeah, Shmish Badia <laughs> 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 oh that's funny we got some uh Things to talk about. Okay. Alex has some news stories. Yeah, should we go into news or we have um, the 
follow up from things that. Oh, uh, let's do the follow up yeah. first. Yes. Um, so it was things you've missed the boat for. So last week we mm-hmm. were talking about things we've missed the boat for as we're getting older. Like we can't yeah. start to learn skateboarding because our bodies won't hack Oh, it. yeah, that's over. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else was some we're examples? We're in our 30s. You're, you're a bit younger than us, so maybe you can. Um, I've, I've got, I turned 30 in January, so oh, I've, got, I've got about three months there to start you skateboarding. Go. Yeah, get <laughs> skateboarding quick. Although, bro. if I fall off the board and hit my chin, my <laughs> teeth are going to end up on the other side of the road. Imagine how fucking you'd be like, I should not have done that. It is really fragile. That like, sounds like a dream moment, you're going to have. I'm held together with bolts and nuts. Yeah, at you the should wear a cricket helmet, bro. About, about a month after the surgery, so it was still very soft. I only, for, for context, I only just started chewing. So it's mm. been a few months and mm. I just started chewing like soft things i tried a piece of steak i had to spit it out Oof. so i'm st- it's still like yeah. very fragile oh, yeah. but about Shiree. a month after I'm in, I'm in bed with my girl first night because i was sleeping in a single bed alone just to be safe yep. first night back in bed with her she very very softly elbows me accidentally i feel my whole head warm oh. like jelly when i felt it. i was like oh i think i'm gonna go back to the single bed tonight. it's like when you've got like a sore arm or something yeah. it's like a dog how they kind of like protect it yeah they're like yeah. don't fucking touch it yeah yeah it's scary <laughs> anyway so it's what, what you missed the most on boat another boat one we missed the most on is um a spin the bottle. There's only a very narrow window you can do spin the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's not a sh- <laughs> <laughs> I might have said that. his last name. <laughs> I said it too. <laughs> Smith the p- pedophilia. <laughs> Uh, um, so th- we're doing the opposite now. So <laughs> things that pity. now you're older, you can get into crunchy, d pity. Yeah. Okay. Crunchy. Things. Th- sorry. Say that again. So now Diddy we're doing Kong the opposite. Op- <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> so now we're doing Mario the opposite. Kart. Oh no. Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I love when someone joins in with me. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Tapped out. No, you okay, got to explain so things it. we can get on the boat. <laughs> What's happening? Now we're gonna. Now we're doing things. things that you can get on the boat with. We sport. Is that what it's called? So now <laughs> so now that you're older, there's certain yeah. things you can do. For example, okay, yeah. you might get into like uh, beekeeping. Yeah, yeah. Like beekeeping. David Beckham and his doggo yeah. was beekeeping. Well, taking care of your lawn. That's what probably you've yes. got into. Yep. I've started, I've, well, I've started cooking. Like that's a huge oh, thing. I started much younger. I've started. I've because I haven't had food for, for months, so I'm all I'm thinking about is food. So I've started like I bought a whole cookbook and I'm working my way through oh, it. Oh, so more like cooking for pleasure. Yeah, more like yeah. I, I like I picked a cuisine. I'm like yeah, I'm gonna wow. nail Italian cooking. So that's yeah. what I'm getting into. I go down to like the fresh fruit grocer and the butcher and get Ooh. all the ingredients and cook at the same yeah, day. Yeah, having your own butcher's a big thing. Oh, yeah, having butcher, having, yeah, if you got your own butcher, that, yeah. you know you're fucking like I've never cared living. about like cuts of meat or like mm. fresh produce or anything like that i've just been like well whatever's at the supermarket to cook. like you know i'll use jar sauce on pasta mm. put cheese oh. on it and then i'm like that's a meal yeah. now i like uh, straight after this i can't wait for this podcast to be over i've got a bolognese <laughs> that needs cooking oh yeah yeah. yeah yeah i learned bolognese when i was 15 so that's it's good you're catching up okay <laughs> but it's still the <laughs> only <laughs> thing i can cook though yeah. so yeah it started as a and flex he uses jar sauce for sure no well, i don't Used no, I sauce don't. How do you don't ever what put do you, that on What me. do you use for the sauce? I use a bunch of different tins of tomatoes. Okay. And some oregano and some parsley. Sometimes I put corn in it and carrot and some red wine goon. And uh, there's a bunch of things. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. All right. So what are some other examples? Things we uh, can finally get on the boat for. Yeah. Uh, drinking straight whiskey. Yeah, like being into whiskey is all you, different. Because you can't do it at the age of 20 because all your boys are on the fucking bourbon. You also can't and afford the, it. The Jager bombs, you can't yeah. afford it. And also you, you could just get a nice little glass of whiskey at the club. You don't look like a fucking psycho. Just, yeah. oh, no, I'm just yeah. sipping a whiskey. I, can't do boys. That. I still can't do straight whiskey. Yeah, well, once you jump on the boat, you're going to fucking love it. Like cigars, I feel like dudes start smoking cigars. Yeah, yeah they cigar. kind of smell like burning golf shit. as well. Golf. Golf. Like golf is like a, like there's, ve- when, you, when you're like entering your 30s, there's very few sports you can start mm. and mm. get really good at. Get better at. Yeah. Golf, you can. Yeah. You can get, you can't become an elite athlete, but you can get really good at golf. Because it's like low impact marathons and oh. and long distance swimming oh. as well. And and that's very they early thirties, dude. Cycling as well. They yeah. love a middle aged man in life. Middle aged man marathoning. Yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, my cousins, my cousins doing it. Shout out Nick, mm. big listener of the podcast. He's he's going down to Canberra by himself and just running. 
and then really? he'll just drive home. I'm like, bro. What's he running from? Well, he drives, <laughs> yeah. drives to another <laughs> state to run. His cousin, probably. From death. <laughs> he drives to another state to run? Yeah, bro. You can do that anywhere. Nah, bro. You there's special competitions, bro. Oh, okay. So he's special entering marathons. He's not just like going to yeah, like a random yeah. street. He wants to no, go. entering marathons. He wants to so run around roundabouts. <laughs> around <laughs> okay. So yeah. Run around Fishwick. Yeah. <laughs> you run faster in the worst suburbs. Chase the prostitutes around. Well, yeah, things that I, I've been getting into, like ancient history. Oh, <laughs> yeah. reading that. More documentaries. Dude, more docu- no war. books, bro. I'm reading. Oh, I'm oh, reading wow. books, and I'm taking notes. You got I'm a lot studying. Of t- you got a lot of time <laughs> in your hands. Yeah. Uh, is it a TAFE course? No, I'm just I'm just reading a book and writing oh, notes dude, about you it. You should do like one of those PowerPoint presentation things for us. Okay. Time. Which, ancient, which history? ancient history are just you into? Us. Well, okay. This, this is how autistic I am. <laughs> I was like, I really want to understand World War Two. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. But then I was like, well, I can't understand World War Two without studying World War One. Mm. And then I was like, well, I can't study World War One without studying the Roman Empire. So <laughs> oh, I started yes. there and I picked up Mary, Be- Mary Beard's book on the Roman Empire. Was like Roman finish. Empire even in World War One? She didn't have a chance. No, but she? it was like the it was it was okay. Here's here's my logic. Here's my logic. I don't even think the Italians fought in that one, did they? Here's my logic. Oh, the Italians were very active in World War Two. Uh, yeah, that was two, not yeah. one. But here's my logic. Okay, Hitler called it the Third Reich, which ah. was like the third thousand year empire. Okay. So his whole thing was, I'm going to do what the Roman Empire oh, did, wow. uh, minus the Jews. Okay, but what was the Second Reich? Uh, this I think the Second Reich was the Roman Empire. And what was the First Reich? I do, I got to oh, study them. I got to go back, in, bro. I got to go all the way back. Dinosaur Egyptian? shit, I think. Yeah. Maybe Ramses. What was the first thousand year empire? The I think Mongolians, it was the dinosaurs. bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe it would be the. Yeah, you know what? It would be the Greeks because I started reading about the Roman Empire and their their ancient history was the Greeks. Mm. Holy Roman Empire. German Empire. Okay. Oh, oh so this Germans oh, well, had the second and third Reich. Damn, oh, maybe they what does, cook it. What does, is, is it not a thousand years? Jeez, I really got to get better at my uh, history here. Check your notes first. Mm. You might have written Scheiße. it. Scheiße. <laughs> Scheiße. <laughs> there was an uh, NFL coach called Frank Reich, I believe. Realm. Mm, oh, that's oh, okay. a cool word. Right. Word. word. Can you read the list of the other things we missed? Yep, no problem. So we've got uh, wearing polo shirts. No. <laughs> is that Miss? Is that Miss the boat? Targeted? That's what I'm wearing right is now. That, is that actually there? Is that Miss the boat yesterday. or join the boat? Is that Miss the boat or join the boat? No, you can wear them. You at can a just start age. wearing them. No, nah, you lads wear them at any age, bro. Nah, I am in Frankston. Different. Yeah, we mean like but I'm wearing mine with a with like a belt. Okay, although yeah. it is a Gucci belt, which is yeah. kind of esche. Yeah, speaking of esches, real quick, we'll mm-hmm. get back to this. Who won the rap battle, Cursor or Three Sixty? Uh, have you? I feel like the answer has revealed itself in the difference in their careers oh, right now. Oh, okay. So I think that at the at the time, yep. very debatable. I think it was honestly, whatever you think is true is the truth. I thought it was cursor, but sixty one of like rounds for sure. It was yep. so super, yep. super close. Yeah. Uh, but if you look at how their careers have ended up, Curse the answer reveals the itself. Curse one. Curse one. Mm. That's what, what I think. What about snipes and two shades? Uh, haven't seen it. <laughs> okay. But like, cause 60 had like a full, like uh addiction to, was it? Uh, everything. And stuff, everything. Yeah. So in the end, he was really the sickest though. That's true. Mm. That is true. That's yeah. some That's good, good player ones. But That's yeah, good. we we watch those rap battles every time we got a long drive. It's so good. We love so two much. shades. Like great. We go really and, one. Oh, really? It's worth oh, looking we'll, up we'll later. watch a review after the podcast. Yeah. Okay. We've I'm done excited. it on the potty before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Curse on 60, the goat. What do we got some more on the boats? Collecting watches. Yeah, mm. I feel like that's like a older thing. That's if that's once you have money yeah. as well. Like, I think you have more disposable income and less happiness when you're older. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you get obsessed with the concept of time. I'm going <laughs> to die. Yeah. Uh, yelling at children's sports referees or yelling at teenagers <laughs> being loud and having fun. That's good. Yeah. That That's is true. Good. I do get a bit dad if I see some kids. I'm like, you better not throw something at my car. You know, you see them mm. thinking about throwing an egg. You're like... I'll turn this car around. Oh, yeah. And I'm more of like the referees. I'm like, you better ref this game fairly. Yeah. I've got my mm. nephew playing this. None to nine. It's like, shah. 
Call that a free kick. Okay, so, so it's not just like positive things you can get into. It's also super yeah. negative oh, yeah. things as well. Definitely. Yeah, okay. Uh, cuck, being a cuck. Yeah. Good. That's great. How's you don't that want going? a young cuck. That's just no. weird. But you kind of get a 40-year-old cuck. Like, a, oh, a well, yuck. my, mo- my a young would, cuck would you, be yeah, a yuck. yuck. Good. You want to... You wanna- <laughs> you want a young guy fucking your wife? Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. But definitely. You're the old guy watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> the cock, I think peak cock age is forties. <laughs> you know what else? Cults. Oh, like you wouldn't yeah. have a young cult leader, yeah. would you? Yeah. I feel like I'm in the age where people join cults because you're like, oh, this is life, and you're like, maybe mm. I should do something else. Yeah. And you're like cults. I could good. join a cult. <laughs> Another one: eighteen-year-old girls as well. Uh, like well, that. Sorry, what? That's, well, we're talking about negative that. things to get into when you... I feel like no <laughs> one's excited about 18-year-old girls when they are 18 to 19. That's just like a girl. But once dudes hit like 30 to 40, that's that's when some oh, of them... Oh, no, you're losing us here. <laughs> no? <laughs> they get into them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no, I was very was excited for them. Shmish <laughs> Mamiya. That was a voice I thought we were doing negative message. things that, that dudes get into message. that oh, are not, not you good. Personally. No, <laughs> not me. No, I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I said just before, oh, so we can do negative ones as yes. well. And you were like, yeah. yeah. Yes. So but, I but, go, oh, this would be a bad thing. But it's things that you don't get into when you're 18. And we were all, the rest of us were into 18 year olds when we were 18. Yeah, but you weren't, but you, do you know, understand my logic? Get, you weren't it. like, oh, yes, I get to, like an 18, you, it was just like a girl. Well, because I didn't get to, I just got to look at them. Oh, so you didn't. No, you no, no, they were too, they <laughs> yeah. were too far fetched. Yeah. I get it. It's kind of like school uniforms and now kind of like. Sexy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that. Like like school kids aren't into school uniforms. That's something that creepy old men are into. Yeah, and Alex has got his footy pulled off. He's got yeah. his thick beard and he's yeah. got his hat going over his eyes. Like you're kind of like school uniforms. Yeah, school uniforms. Yeah, Damn, they're sexy. The way they're right. Why, why don't why Pass don't girls car, ever like male outside. school uniforms? Like my oh, girl would do. never want me to put on the white button up and a tie <laughs> yeah, and yeah. shorts that don't really fit. Yeah. Yeah. Like a male spit, nurse's uniform. Shoot. Yeah, no male what well, no nurse? male nurse uniform yeah. as well. That's funny. A little Angus short, Young little was trying to trying to bring it back. The oh, sexy true. school boy. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm that's sure he true. Got yeah, laid. He's the only. I'm sure he got laid. He's going to be the only guy that got laid in a school uniform that was not a schoolboy. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to attract school girls. Ah, oh, mm. clever. Or Maybe priests. <laughs> <laughs> Any- and lastly, I say turning off lights and set and ha- setting temperatures. Mm. Oh, I yeah. don't give a fuck about lights at all. But I do care heaps about the aircon. I'm in my air, aircon era. In terms of you want it off? Like, say I wake up in the morning in my house and the lights are on. I don't care, right? Because yep. they've been on all night. I don't care, whatever. I'll, I might not even flick them off, right? Yep. I'll leave them on during the day. If I wake up and the aircon's on, I'm throwing chairs. Wow. I like to flick lights on and off because it's just good practice. Frenchy that hates pussy. the aircon. Yeah, um, But- I hate aircon on. How's we turn on the TV yesterday in the hotel? There's an awards show. We're like, oh, I didn't know it was an awards show. The Arias? Season, not the Arias. Oh. Let's, let's see if you can guess it, actually. Okay. All right. There's an awards it's show. It's related to what you're oh, talking you're not about. Are you going to give me lights. any clues? It's related to what you're talking about, the lights and aircon, kind of. You're never going to guess it. It's the, impossible challenge. The, the lights and aircon awards show? Can you, can you the, Google it real quick, Luke? The electricity you know I mean? awards? I, I forgot exactly what's called. The, it was the abusive father championships. Oh, it was the <laughs> and today we have the eat your food or you don't get food for a week championship. It was the <laughs> um, climate climate conquerors awards show or something like global initiative Enviro, Enviro awards. So it was an awards for all the people doing the best stuff for the environment, all the so celebrities. Greta doing Thunberg was headlining. Right, <laughs> we didn't rapped. turn on for long enough, but it was like a full hour long show, and they're like, "Oh, look at these initiatives on television." On television, right? Yeah, That's right. you, and you know that that whole event is absolutely like sponsored and paid for by like petrol companies. Oh yeah, Saudi for Arabia, hundred sure. percent. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Yeah, that's why I was like, "That's your." This is the middle of the day. Where the fuck's Dr. Phil? Where Where's is Dr. Oprah? Phil? I feel like middle of the day TV has been, been gone for a lately. while, man. TV in general is No, but is okay. Off. 
You always knew middle of the day TV was bad, but it was like ready, steady, cool. Our sort yeah. of bad. We're like, oh, oh, capsicums. We can be sick from school and watch this shit. Yeah. Now what have they got in the middle of the day? So that's what kids are into. But what? All climate awards shows. Yeah, dude. That is Fuck true. Kids. That is true. Yeah. They deserve all the diddling they get then, don't they? No, <laughs> I didn't say that. No. <laughs> no, but being the better stuff, kids, because sometimes I got to turn on the middle of the day. <laughs> well, Alan's gone too. So who's who's running the mid middle of the day TV? Steve Harvey? Is he still doing his show? That's more of an American thing. Is it still thing. like The View and shit like that? I don't know. Oh, The View kind of slaps. Mm. Four MILFs talking about how bad men are. Man, oh, I love that shit. My Let's favorite go. The View moment is, uh, I can't remember which woman it was, but uh, they're, talking, it, they're talking about Donald Trump and how, how racist he is. Yeah. Like they're saying that he's racist. And uh, and to prove that, that, you know, to make this big point, she goes in this huge speech of like, Blah blah don't and you know when someone's like on on a roll and they really think they they're like I'm crushing this yeah. they really think that they're whenever they're making a speech it could be about air conditioners and they're like mm. uh, and, and it's just they're hitting all of the notes yep. mm. and all the tones and they're building up yep. and she's building up to this big moment and she's like uh, oh Donald Trump you want to get rid of uh, all all Mexican immigrants well who's gonna clean your yes. toilets then <laughs> who's Kelly, Kelly Osbourne, Osbourne. <laughs> and Kelly the Osbourne. whole audience is like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Even that's the, even the even more racist. Like, no, you can't. It's it's like, no, no, and no, then no, she no. goes, "No, no, that's not what I mean." But the whole audience is like, "I'm pretty sure that's what you mean." And and it, what's great about it is before she hits that, and then after, before she's so confident, like yeah. Donald Trump, so I'm going to take you down a peg. This is going to do uh, 10 million views on TikTok, and it uh, did. <laughs> That so is funny. so incredible. Really good. Off the cuff too. Finally not using the teleprompter. I didn't Have you seen it. it? I bet I could pull She's it like, out. I got this. I got this. I've got a little something special store. Do you want to run it by us? Pull it up for <laughs> us. We, I want I want to see this. Classic. The, uh, other one, the other one, um, Mexicans, Trump. I saved actually for your podcast, but I saved okay. it. So I'll see if I saved it. Sophia Vergara. 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 Oh. So <laughs> Mama right, Cita. Here we go. You have a very good point, though. There, there are a lot of Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem, and it does need to be addressed, and it does need to be fixed. But making uh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. And, and if, yeah. you, if you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilets, Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, that's... No. In the sense that... No. You know what I mean? Like, what I'm saying is... In the sense that... Uh, in the, in the, just oh. the, the silence, oh. and she really is... Who is going to be cleaning your Ooh. toilet? Mr. Trump. Oh, in the in the sense that like um uh, like clean uh, toilets, Mexicans very clean, clean toilets. And was, very <laughs> clean. was the co-host who threw to a Latina too? Yeah, that yeah. makes it even better. Yeah, really good. Oh. Clip you know what I'm about. talking about, Rosary? Yeah. Don't you? you come on, back me up here. <laughs> yeah. man. I saw you. You were walking past. <laughs> He's come on. Come on. <sighs> the lawns are gonna get mowed. Hey, who's going to make a burritos? <laughs> you know what's really weird? I want an enchilada. Come on, you guys know. You know what's really weird about... Uh I went to, when I was in LA, mm. we went to, we were filming for something. We went to like an Australian style cafe. So I was doing a bit on like, oh, how Australian is it? They nailed it. And then I was like, oh, can I interview the chefs? I'd love to talk to like the, the chefs. And she went, oh, they're all Mexican. They don't speak English. I was like, oh, oh okay. Love but that. they nailed Australian cooking. is that cooking. not the most Australian thing ever? Yeah, true. Yeah. A bunch of bunch of people just like cooking. Yeah, whoever's the cheapest should be cooking the food. That's Absolutely. what we will do yeah. in Australia. I went back too. in there. They're all scrubbing toilets. <laughs> <laughs> what they sort of food did job. they have? They had veggie my toast. They had uh, like um, they had like uh, avocado on toast, which is very Smashed like Melbourne. Out, yeah. Just like anything that you would find at a Melbourne cafe. Did you there. casually yeah. drop cunt and see how that react? I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, yeah. the girl the girl uh, serving us was from New Zealand, so Perfect. she was there. Yeah, she yeah, was on good. That. Yeah. Mm. Oh, chur cunty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what you said. We're coming Did to New Zealand actually. Right uh, all our New Zealand listeners, we are coming next week starting in Lower Hutt slash uh, Wellington, then Auckland, Hamilton, the home of Chlamydia. Mm -hmm. um, and then the following weekend it's Dunedin right and in. Christchurch. And Christchurch is actually on Crate Day where apparently they will delete a crate at midday of beer. 
<laughs> so it's going to be a, a really awesome. fun fun day, that That's one. That's going to be chaos. You may not survive. Yeah. You, that could be your whole show. You just tell a joke, smash a Smash can. a crate. That'd be wild. It's like long neck, so it's a crate of long neck beers. Oh, wow. wow. The, the venue just emailed us warning, go, hey, just so you know, it's crate day, so we're probably not going to be able to let most of the crowd in. That's um, so and the ones funny. that are in are going to be fucked up. So get ready for it. There's going to be a lot of people trying to act sober. That's oh. like fucking in. awesome. I Hello, know, sir. Man. I think we're just going to have to do feel some like sort of concert. That's something that like only the the like um, Maori guys can partake in. If you're like a white guy, you might die. <laughs> yeah, like true. Maori guy, crate day is like, oh, right. yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, easy as no, bro. They easy. train for this. They're ready. They're they're ready for it. It's Christchurch too, which is like a, a very tradey type town. Uh, okay. City. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to read our sponsored message from Unfiltered because mm-hmm. we forgot to do it earlier. Um, so that was our Unfiltered moment of the week <laughs> brought to you by Filter <laughs> Brewing. Makers of the finest, most unfiltered brews in town. Um, thank you, Isaac, for sending that through. We'll get in contact with some free tickets. <laughs> Send us a voice memo recounting your most unfiltered moment and you go in the running to join us for a live podcast recording at Filter Brewing HQ in Marrickville this December 12th. So thank you. Head to speakpipe.com slash Tom and Frenchie and record your unfiltered moment. Beautiful. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Filter Brewing. Yum, 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 yum. And thank you, Lewis. And thank no you, worries. Lewis. Glad so to be back. We're my about first, to jump on. My first on. podcast yeah. back. And you're about to do mine as yeah, well. Yeah, so head yes. over there if you finish this one and check out Lewis's podcast with us. Is it a po- Spearhead Sundays? Yeah, podcast. Yeah, let's, let's Spearhead do Sundays. It. We've got video on Spotify. No billboards yet. We're working on it. And if you're listening, head over to Lewis's Instagram. What's your... Lou Spears, L.E.W. Spears, bunch of stand-up clips, a uh, bunch of pictures of fresh my... Jewel. Fresh jewel. You'll see my before and afters too. as well. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yeah. Uh, don't show your jewel. girlfriend. The the chin is dangerous. Oh. And he's going to post the photo of his dad's cock. No, yes, I will. I will. <laughs> I'll send that to you, by the way, yeah, so you can frame you. it. Thank you. Thank you.